so sweet and tender and thrills me all over. I'm just mad about you. I wish I could believe you. But you must believe me, dear. I'm a man of means. I have money, plenty of money, and I can give you everything your little heart desires. Just you be sweet to me and see. I wish you wouldn't help me. Can't you understand what it means? I'm only a young girl, just out of school, and my poor mother Worked yourself to death to send me through college and died, saying that I would struggle hard and be somebody. But, my dear, I want to help you. I mean what I say. I want to marry you. Honestly? Do you mean it? Do you really want me to marry you? Why, well, of course. I... Ah! Now, folks, I guess you think you've heard some funny comics. You wait until you hear George and Gary. Gary and George, hello! I've been trying to get you to keep up with me all the time. What you want to do is to stop talking about going to jail. Uplift yourself. Elevate. Be somebody. Follow in the footsteps of great men. Now, what is the use of me being somebody? 
somebody and elevate them. What are you going to do to me? I won't go where I need. Well, that's all right. You elevate and then you can eat. I'm out here enjoying the fresh air. Fresh air don't mean nothing to me now. Give me less liberty and more food. Got a whole lot of freedom and starving to death. Sure, you ought to be satisfied. Now, I, I never will forget the words my grandma used to tell me. What was that? When I was a little boy, she used to hold me on her lap and look into my big blue eyes. Mm -hmm. I can push my golden locks back from my forehead and said, Son, my darling son, where there's a will, there's a way. She was right. I got a will to eat, but I can't find a way. He won't look at you, find it. But now, since you said that elevation, you know that's something good. Yeah. We ought to do that. Sure. Get out of the gut and get on the sidewalk. Now you talk. Follow in the footsteps of a great men. Yeah. Men who's gone on the foe. Yeah. Men whose name has gone down in posterity as men who meant something for the community where they resided. There you are. Men like Booker T. Washington. That's a great man. That's a man whose name is known everywhere. Yeah. The children know them. His pictures in the books and papers. Why? Because he was a man that done something. Yeah, what did he do? I don't know, but whatever it was, he done it. Yeah, yeah. Then look at that other noble man. Who was that? That great soldier. Who? Frederick Douglass. Yeah. Put his gun on his shoulder and walk out into the battlefield and said, Give me liberty or shoot me. Uh -huh. And they shot him. Yeah. That's that other noble man. Who is that? Mark of God. Yeah, let him rest. He's gone. Go. <laughs> But that's a man. Who is Abraham Lincoln? That's a great boy. And that's a man that's known everywhere, too. Sure, that's He's a... He's the man that's done something. Yeah, that, that's the boy that cut on his happy chair tree. Yeah. He took his hat and walked out in the forest and started chopping on the tree, and his mama walked out. Yeah, who was his mother? Uh, Betsy Ross. His mama said, Abraham, your father wants you. And he mm -hmm. walked in the house to his papa, and his papa looked him in the eye, and his papa said, Amy, Amy, did you cut on the tree? Yeah. He said, Father, I cut it with my little hatchet. Uh -huh. He said, Son, go ye and cut them on. He ain't cutting on them. Yeah. Then look at that boy, Lindenburg. Yeah, that's a great man. And that Lindenburg. Yeah, greatest man out of all of them. Yeah. Me and you can be just as great as him. Uh, all you got to do is to help me out right here in my, in my pocket. I got a song that I wrote no more, no longer than yesterday. And there ain't nothing to do but for you to find some endings. I got the song, but I can't get the finish. Oh, you want me to help you? Yes, well, if you rhyme it with me. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Bro. All right. You can make love in a flower garden. Daisies will not tell. You can make love in a flower garden. Daisies will not tell. tell. You can, you can make love in a flower garden. Daisies will not tell. And step in, can't step out. Yeah. A line is a vicious beast that we all know well. A line is a vicious beast. That we all know well. A lion is a vicious beast that we all know well. And hot dogs cannot buy. Did you ever see a pig watching in the summertime? Did you ever see a pig watching in the summertime? Did you ever see a pig watching in the summertime? No, but I have seen pig eyes. What is it that an elephant has that no other animal can? What is it that an elephant has that no other animal can? What is it that an elephant has that no other animal can? And it must be little baby elephant. You can write the winner when the trees are budding gone. You can tell when one is gone, the trees against the bud. You can tell when one is gone. It begins to buzz when it's down, summer draws on. Why did the boy stand on the burning deck? Why did the boy stand on the burning deck? Why did the boy stand on the burning deck? It was too dark on hot to sit down. They didn't even talk that. I don't like the way she looks at me. Oh, she's only my godmother, but he's like a real mother and loves me dearly. Well, I don't like the way she looks at me, though. Well, to be frank about it, she doesn't exactly like you, doesn't trust you. But if you marry me and be nice to me, like you say you're going to, everything will be all right, Daddy dear. And if I'm not? Well, she always says that if any man was mean to me, do what? Kill me. But you will be nice to me, won't you, Daddy? Oh, I, of course I will, dear. But you see, I will. You know I will. Oh, Daddy, you make me so happy. Suppose we dance now. Yes, suppose we do. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I want to 
always had love, would always had love. Now is there any wonder I may? Item Watson that I want. Thank you. 
I'll send it to you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these sweet women will endeavor to entertain you with a sweet song to number. Get it, boys? <laughs> But this is. I'm Martin, thank you. And you? Terry Marshall. The motion picture producer? Well, something like that, I guess. Oh, I'm delighted. Glad it. Everything. Now, how to teach Miss Morton? I'm here especially to feed you. Oh, Mr. Marshall, really? Really and truly. Oh, Mr. Marshall, whatever can you wish to speak to me about? Pictures. Motion pictures. How would you like to work in one? How would I like to go to heaven without John? Oh, Mr. Marshall, you can't mean it. Of course I mean it, Bessie. Oh, great goodness. I just can't believe it. Honestly, Mr. Marshall, you're not kidding. Do you really want to use me and a picture? There. I knew you were only joking. You didn't mean what you said in the beginning. Oh, that is unkind. And I've begun to hope. Of course I want music, but I, uh... But, but what, Mr. Marshall? Well, the part is only small and don't pay much. And I, uh... Oh, any part will do, just as long as you use it. I'll work for anything. Yes. Oh, any part will do, just as long as you use it. And as to the pay, why the warning? I'll work for nothing. I'll... But that's not business. The part, as I have said, is small and pays only three dollars and a half a day. But I have... I'll take it. And I, I'm working so hard, Mr. Marston. And I want to thank you so much for giving it to me. You don't realize how happy this makes me. Now, what can I do to show you how much I appreciate this? Can I sing for you? Dance for you? Oh, Mr. Marston, I can do almost anything. And I'm willing to do it all for you. Just say what you want me to do. Really, you interest me. You have personality and talent. And I'm going back to my office. And this your part of it is something bigger. Meanwhile, you can sing for me, dear, and dance for me if you want to. You're on! <laughs> oh, Mr. Marshall, I'm so glad you like it. Oh, the dog is so I know why. Dragging my heart up down. 
here we are again. This time we offer for your approval these beautiful damsels in the heart of the beautiful tune of Sweet Georgia Brown. <laughs> murder? Ever see a man killed? Great goodness, no. What's the idea? One is going to be committed here tonight. What are you talking about? The murder that's going to be committed here tonight. If you're not joking, I'm ready to leave. I'm not joking. Do you see that woman over there? I'll tell you the story. Fifteen years ago, she was young and beautiful. And she was madly in love with the man that you see her there now with. No, no, you're mistaken. It is true that he betrayed her, but she's not seeking revenge for herself, but for another.
At the trial, he cleared through an alibi and returned to his racket of luring girls to the ruin just as she had ruined her. It so happened that this girl had told the woman her story and the woman had cared for her and still keeps her baby. Now he's due here tonight and she is waiting and going to shoot him on sight. It's my move now. No. You're too late. Here he comes now. Don't say anything. The men are watching. I know it looks bad for me, but I'm not going to do anything. I shall sit right here and wait until I receive the other note. And then... But Lisa, are you mad? Do you think I'm going to sit here and see you, the woman I love and have always loved, murdered by this madman? Why, I... Please, Anthony. You know I love you, too and have traveled thousands of miles in my efforts to escape this madness. 
and find you. Oh, Anthony, my love, I wish I could embrace you so you could feel the beat of my heart and know that I love you just as much as you do me. But listen, Anthony, but you must promise to be patient and believe me. Last night, I dreamed of mother, my poor dear mother, who's dead. She came to me in my sleep and told me this man would catch up with me here in New York, but not to run away. And that before, oh, my <laughs> Come on, dear. Dear. She said, be calm, my baby. Place your trust in God. Something terrible is going to happen. But have faith, my daughter. Have faith. Lisa, I'm going out that door. And you're going with me. But I... Please don't answer me. If you love me truly, don't try and take me out of here now. But just sit with me. Close to me. And wait. I'm not afraid. I'm strangely confident and happy. Now, the show is going to start. Let's just sit here and wait and see you. Until...
My darling. It's strange, but I thought I heard you in the house before you came. I was sure I heard somebody. Music, but I didn't arrive until I rang the bell. I guess I was mistaken. Yet I would have sworn that I heard somebody. However, now that you are here, take a seat in the parlor while I run upstairs and finish dressing. I'll be down in two minutes. Oh, dear. Please don't. Just another, my angel. You must remember, I haven't seen you for weeks. Noted. Are you satisfied? No. Another. Oh, Anthony, let me go. We'll be late. I love you, Lisa. And I love you too, Anthony. My, but you are stunning, my dear. You think so? You're wonderful. Thank you. Now let's hurry. No, no, no more kisses. Until we come back, you'll spoil my makeup. Thank <laughs> you. 
And you must go. But I am going with you. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.